Hi, this is Christine at Spring Creek Bathworks, and I'm going to show you soaps I received in a Christmas 2014 soap swap with the Lone Star Soapers. I put these into a bag and have had them stored in a bin uh, all this time, and I decided to go through them and film them and uh, move forward. Uh, not just store them, but use them or give them to my friends or whatever. Anyway, here's the first one. Warm Wishes, a wild soap bar. I can buy these soaps in our local grocery store. Has a cinnamon stick on the top and it smells nice, just like cinnamon. This one was in a little bag with this label, Bath Candy Ribbon Candy Scented Soap. Here are the ingredients. And it came in this bag, and it's a pretty swirl. This is a two and a half year old soap, so that's very nice. This soap has no label. It's a really bright neon pink. It has a stamp and gold mica. That's a nice scent. I can't tell what it is, but anyhow, there that is. This is a bath bomb from Black Kettle Soap Company, Delicious Red, and it's a really good smelling um, apple scent. This one uh, says Merry Christmas in a box. Divergent Holiday. Interesting. The Whole Ordeal is the brand. I recognize that from another Texas soap swap I did. Very nice swirls. I definitely smell citrus in here. That's nice. Um, let's see what else do we have. White Oak Bend Soaps came in this organza bag. Let me remove this. White Oak Ben Soaps, Frankincense and Myrrh. Oh, Chloe the Goat, look at that. Five ounces. Goat milk, tallow, olive oil, rice bran oil, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, and tuss of silk. Nothing uh, said on the backs and sides. Let me get this off. I can feel the creaminess of the bar. This is a nice scent. I swear I smell uh, something else, spruce or something, but she says it's frankincense and myrrh, so I'm sure it's accurate. Um, Lathering Love Christmas Forest Handmade Soap. She has a stamp with some glitter and a um, ribbon holding the label on. Look how pretty this is with the... Um, the different colors of the purple and how it goes into the pink with the green. Really pretty. Nice. Okay. Let's see what else do we have. So, little Bit Farm. Handcrafted goat milk soap. Little Bit Farm. Santa's Knickers. Infused vanilla bean and peppermint essential oil. And here's the, I can't read this, I'm going to take it out of the bag. It has a string and a ribbon. Uh, metallic labels, hard on the camera. Take this off. Oh, look at this. It's really strong of mint. Oh, this is titanium dioxide right here. Nice. Okay, let's go to something very colorful. Celestial Luxuries, Deborah King. Actually, see something on here. Yep, okay. 
Um, look at this mountain pour. This is beautiful. And these curls. She doesn't name the scent. Anyway, very pretty. Put that one in the front. Let's go to something else gorgeous. Merry Christmas 2014 Lone Star Soap and Toiletries O Tannenbaum. Any soap barn again. Like was done in another soap swap. Um, goat's milk soap and she, again she's using alpaca and look at how pretty this is really nice and it's intended you keep it on here and you rub this on you like that and uh, really nice 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 that's really a lot of time to do that felting to do needle felting Texas Christmas Soap, Cranberry Orange, The Country Soaper. Cranberry Orange. Nice. Nice light. Nice light scent. Handcrafted Soap, Cannery Kitchen, Vanilla Soap with Sunflower Seed Oil. Okay, let's look at... Wow, there's all about the business, which I will let you pause and read if you want. This is the ingredients crafted for Cannery Kitchen by Indigo Moon Eclectics. Okay, so this is a private label, Cannery Kitchen, and the soap maker's company is called Indigo Moon. I smell cinnamon. Anyway, there's that. And Pampered Sisters, Citrus Slices. She does really pretty swirls. And the tops. I'm going to cut this open, the shrink wrap open. Let's see the swirls. Let's see the swirls. Oops. Sorry about that. Not being cooperative. Pretty, huh? Lots of uh, orange and salmon and this uh, yellow and this cream color here. Very nice. Next we have Country Candles and Scents Warm Vanilla Sugar, Cold Process. Here's the ingredients. Let me open this up. Got um, netting. Take that off. So it has these embeds, and it looks like the piped soap looks like whipped cream. I'm getting confused now. Anyway, it's a nice scent. Put that here. Here's one I never opened. She has a cloth. Sorry. She has a cloth in here. Cut this. The mysterious gift. Serenity soap works. so busy at Christmas time I just never even opened these and I just packed them away 
This one has gold and pink mica on the top. It smells like essential oils to me. All right, we've got three left. Let's see if I can fit in here. Button Willow Day Spring Farm Farms Housewarming Soap Set. Kitchen Garden Garage. So this is a hand. Let me rip this open. Oh, look, it's three soaps. So she's taken the paper, uh, printed that, folded it around, and inside there's three little soaps. Each one has an ingredient list. Coffee. Oh, this is a kitchen soap. Oh, garden. Ground apricot seeds, so that's to get the dirt off your hands. And this one is the garage soap. This has pumice and fragrance. Let's, let's take a look at this. labor intensive to do this uh, like this. Lightly fragranced. And she used scrap of paper. I won't open these, but how cute is this? Uh, two more to go. Mystic Creek Bath Company, Home for the Holidays, Handcrafted Soap. Oh, Home for the Holidays, I know, was a candle scent by Yankee. Mystic Creek Bath Company. Here's her card. Stacy Rutledge. Here's her soap. Look at the nice, pretty swirls and the top. Oops. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I knocked that. It does smell just like the Yankee Candle because I purchased this one all the time because I love that scent. It's a lot of um, cinnamon and does smell like the holidays. And the last one is... Twisted Botanicals, and this is a uh, felted soap that's very uh, artsy and artsy looking. Oops. Looks like this isn't, um, it's kind of loose, but anyway. Yellow, blue, and red, that's really pretty. So this is the Lone Star Soapers Christmas Swap 2014 and I hope you enjoyed watching this and getting to see how other soap makers package and wrap their soaps. Here's what I got and here's who I am. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.